That was a photograph of me in the exhibition, uh, in front of the exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery in Florence, Italy. Uh, this is um, an example of what the exhibition looked like with some details. And these are called rhododendron palm, li palm leaves. And there are also a selection of grape leaves, which I used in the work when I was there in 2010. Um, I was in a section of Umbria uh, where there were many grape leaves, grapes and grape leaves. So I made drawings from that. This, there are rhododendron leaves. There's also a selection of small works on canvas, uh, which I brought because they were easy to pack, and they made an interesting uh, interrelationship between the rubbings and the um, and the actual um, sculptures and works on canvas, the small works on canvas. Um, some of them had gold leaf, little gold leaf sticks on them, and other gold leaf pieces, and different other wood chips and um, qualities that. The, the rubbings don't have because they're very flat, even though when you look at them, you experience them in much more of a three-dimensional way. They essentially are, of course, uh, two-dimensional. Up here, I'm making some rubbings by putting a, a sheet of mylar over a, a carved wood panel, a wood cut. And then I take um, a caron d'ache, which is a kind of crayon, which is water soluble, and, and I can wet it later if I like, or even work with it wet then, and I rub it over uh, the woodcuts. Um, in printing, it's a, it's a printing form. It's just a little different than how one would print it if one was working with um, a roller and printing ink. Uh, this is very immediate and gives um, an actual instant um, experience of of the leaves that in this case. So, and here is water, um, uh, working with brush and water to begin to make the leaves more uh, pliable. Uh, this, these, this is work on black, <clears throat> which you will see um, uh, has a slightly different look to it. Here are more works now, uh, which are um, rubbings and um, also tracings, and there's something very ancient about the idea of working with a tracing, also a rubbing, uh, because um, the energy that's in the item that you're tracing is much quickly, much more quickly transposed by actually putting it um, on a piece of paper than if you drew it, because if you, if, while you draw it, it becomes in translation.